Ja da! I think it's safe to say that if you are thirsty morning, it's anything like this, and it is your boss swimming out there, you got yourself the perfect summer job. The diving is of course one of the major perks of working for a dive company. And this morning we were checking out a very special current right outside of Bergen. This place is known for its very high potential and several Norwegian records have been shot here, including a 12 kilo Pollock. Early in my dive career I went there several weekends with high hopes but no fish. A day before I started my new job, my father and I gave the current a go. I wanted to send some fish home, hopefully, and also see if four years with extra diving experience made it possible for me to shoot anything in this place. While playing the waiting game, baitfish is a very useful indicator. If they are just hanging around like this, it means you are doing something right. If that happens on the other hand, the big ones are long gone. Not exactly 12 kilos, but at least it's fish and the diving felt way more comfortable now than 4 years ago. So my excitement when going into the water with Simon, who is a local, very experienced diver, was pretty high. Yeah, I'm gonna... Let's go, yeah. I quickly learned that the local hotspots were very local. Seaman did his best to guide me from where I thought I should dive to the proper spots. But even then, the margin of error was small. The GoPro was angled a little bit too low for you to see, but in front of me and to my right there was no fish. At the end of the ridge to my left, however, there were plenty of bait fish and a few big ones behind. Ja, ny fisk. Det var litt, litt lenger ut for å få de store. Ja, litt, altså typ 10 meter. Over the next dives, I just continued to miss my spot. The visibility at the surface was quite crappy, and the current did not help.
that edge where there suddenly was a bit of bait fish caught my attention and I took a dive. I'm not exactly sure why, but I thought this was a good sized pollock and was not very impressed when I pulled it up, but it's a meal nonetheless. So it's very interesting that right where I'm standing now, beneath this pillar, it's completely calm. And as you can see, five, six meters out, it's a really hard current. So I'll give it one shot to dive and see if I can get something. No matter how green and rough and crappy it might be on the surface, once you find these really calm spots, it's beautiful, even without the big fish around. But I kind of wanted that big fish, so we kept on diving and tried a new spot. This was a hill that started at roughly 13 meters and continued downwards, and here you could expect to see large fish. Each and one of these pieces of kelp could easily hide a 10 kilo cod, and the abundance of dead man's fingers made a stunning scenery. Still, the fish didn't show, so new spot, new tactic. When diving two at the same time, full control of your spear guns is an absolute must. But as I followed Seaman down to see what he was doing, I saw my first shootable fish of the day, a nice fat pollock. <laughs> the pressure was quite on, especially now that the first decent fish we saw, I missed. And as Simon said, we had 20 minutes in one of the best spots before the current would increase and we would have to leave. I was supposed to land on top of this edge, but of course I missed and found myself swimming deeper and deeper next to it. Just before I was heading up, I take a look below me. Oh, 
<laughs> det var godt det. I've dreamt of a 10 kilo plus cod in that current for more than five years. Not a bad way to start your working day.